You know what? A lot of people see the landscape and, and they, they get frustrated with it. It's different. It's changed. Well, I can tell you the way we're aligned at Maryland. My boss, Damon Evans, and my president, Daryl Pines. Uh, you know what? It's always been about change, man. Uh, as I tell people, I'm kind of like Benjamin Button. Oh, look, we got one dropped in Yeah, there. that's in the right oh, center from Kalzer. And that's going to send third, McCann to third base. Job, we may keep you around a while. We might. Forget about the defense. We're looking for offense right yeah, now. Yeah, I love it. Look at this. I, I want to do this next. I'm coming to do. <laughs> I'm going to do baseball or football. Come on. Yeah, Colton Kowser always on time. It feels like with the fastball. He's made some really good adjustments this year. He got a lot of fastballs early in the month of April, and he's shining. And all of a sudden, he starts getting a lot of breaking ball, and it was a struggle. Mm. The accountability of the leaders in the program, including myself all taking the ownership of saying hey this is what we said we're going to be these are the standards and ball four walked in a run coach i really think you are a good luck charm yeah. three walks in this inning by vasquez and the orioles take a one nothing lead yeah and i tell you what and the daggum bad bats have been much better today some really close pitches the Orioles aren't offering it you guys don't need me to stick around do y'all that's right we're gonna need you especially put my rally hat on there looks like Della santos is starting what? to get warmed up in that padre bullpen yes get oh, it get out to left will it fall pro far yes. will catch it it drops in there. Kowser is in. One more home for the Orioles. They'll hurt an RBI base knock. A 2 0 Orioles lead, and there is still nobody out. Here we go. All right, I'll get out of here now. Get out of your hair. No, not yet. Oh, no, <laughs> no, no, no. You're, staying, about, you're staying right there. We put about five up right here. Ball wasn't hit hard by O'Hearn, but hit in a perfect spot. Drops in right in front of Profar. Only one's able to score. Got to wait to see if the ball's being caught or not. I was, I was that 6'2", 195-pound twitchy ass. Oh, get down. That's yes, he'll, he'll get go, down. Baby. That's going to get in one. Get out here. Another get out here, run coming home. Here. It is offline. Yeah. Henderson is in as well. Mount Castle, a two-run single. And it's been a huge third for the O's. Locked in, baby. I'm leaving while we're ahead. <laughs> You ain't going nowhere. <laughs> We're going to keep you here. How about that at bat? 0-2 count by Mountcastle. He shortened his swing, folks, just enough. Watch him lean out there on that breaking ball and just plug it right out toward right center field. Pushes across two. Mountcastle, 48 RBIs on the year now. Well done on an 0-2 count. Yeah! Well, have you ever seen a punter as tall as him? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Have that long. Oh, we're down again. And there's one in the gap from Cedric Mullins. Come on down, Ryan O'Hearn. Oh, They're waving oh. Mount Castle yeah. around. And the relay throw will not come forth. Two run double, Cedric Mullins. The Orioles' offense just won't stop. Boy, stay hot, huh? Here, boys. Cedric Mullins, his last three at bats going back to last night. Six RBIs in his last three at bats. And that was a bullet out toward right center field. And, folks, this is what we've been waiting on, this offense to get going. And, boy, have they ever got going here in this inning. You talk about on time, on time, and a little bit of a cutter right there. And the bottom part of the zone just hooks it out toward right center field. Mountcastle gets an outstanding read. He is off and moving all the way around. He scores. Yes! A little swing and miss for strike three. But the third inning was a third inning that the Orioles have been waiting for for a while. Yes, they have. It's their best run output since June the 21st against the Astros when they scored seven. The Orioles get six and take a big lead early in this one.